In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is 17th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Same day is a big one at Christ the King, because on this day we receive officially in our Catholic family, Summer, Jenin, and Jim. This Mass is offered specifically for you to be strengthened in the life of God. We shall also pray for your families and know that the entire family of Christ the King is with you in prayer and will be supportive in every way possible. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned and in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have done. Give us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, you have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you have mercy. Lord, have mercy. my father David. 
but I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding, so that you may know what is right. I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come to know no one equal you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among all brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called, and those he called, he also justified. For those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gibeon, 
which is Christ the King Church, to encounter God in a special way. As you are being ushered into a special and unique closeness with Him, your journey needs special accompaniment, and that's why many people are surrounding you and accompanying you with special prayers from their homes today. <coughs> All their well wishes are for you, I assure you. Be sure of that. And as we journey, God is also acting with you as he acted with Solomon. He told him, ask for what I shall give you. He's telling you, ask for what I shall give you. And what shall you ask? Imagine God telling someone now that he is a signed check, but blank, fill in whatever you want, um, whichever, whichever amount you want. How much would you fill in if you are given a blank check? <laughs> Millions? One dollar? No, that doesn't work. Three? You know. You know. And what you speak out to him as he hands you over this blank check, I mean this moment, is what reveals what is deep in your life. Solomon went through this same experience. God asked him that ask and I shall give you. And he asked for an understanding heart, wisdom, to help him lead God's people. He knew it was not his work. He knew they were not his people. He knew all the future lay in the hands of God who had appointed him and raised him that much higher. Yes, you are walking this journey, but it's not all your journey. It's the journey with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit that has spoken through your teachers, Tom Bile, Marian Boyle, uh, Nikki Zuba, and led by Barry Smith. It has been a wonderful team, I tell you. And the journey has been long. The journey has been long. So today, in front of the altar, and much of what we are going to do will be in front of the altar, as Solomon also spoke much of what he had to speak in front of the altar, God says, ask and I shall fill you. He's the one who tells us in the book of Gospel of Luke, that seek and you shall find. You've heard of a gentleman who went searching for pass. Knock and the door will be opened. The, Catholic door, the, the, the door to the Catholic Church is now open. Come in and ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. This is that high moment of special encounter with God that will lead you into a greater experience with the one you have chosen to give your entire lives. When Solomon put first the wisdom of God, his wish was to have God reign in his life. As Solomon begins his reign as king, he comes in God's presence and he requests for God's reign in his heart so, can he, so that he can reign well over God's people. What shall you pray for? That God reigns in your life. And when God reigns in your life, he will tell you to see all things according to his perspective. He will tell you to see all things according to his perspective. And that's how, what it means to live the life of God. And mind you, apart from Solomon, there are other peoples in scripture who have experienced the same. 
You remember when Elijah was going to depart from this life and went with his spiritual son Elisha? After crossing the Jordan, Elijah asked Elisha, Ask for what you want, and if I can, I can grant it to you. Elisha asked for a Tao share in the spirit of Elijah. And it was granted to him. He received it. He even left with him a mantle with which he struck the waters of the Jordan and they opened and he crossed. These are the waters Jim is going to cross. The waters of baptism are the baptism of hand. But may us in the gospel, a gentleman who was blind, seated along the road, heard a big crowd shouting and asked what it was all about. And they told him that it was Jesus passing by. He cried out three times, Son of David, have pity on me. And when Christ came to him, he said, What can I do for you? And Bartimaeus said, That I may see. And it was granted to him. You remember the uh, disciples who were following Jesus from the distance? These were John's disciples. He saw them coming after him. And he asked them, What are you seeking? They told him, where do you stay? And he told them, come and see. You shall see what happens in the Catholic Church. It's family, it's communion, there's unity, there is love, peace and joy, and every good thing that you can imagine. And this is how God reigns in the life of his children. We come to understand this by wisdom. It is wisdom that leads us there to be full sharers in the joy of being God's children. So this wisdom that Solomon asked for helped him to judge his life correctly. The wisdom he asked for helped him to assess all things rightly. The same wisdom as that assisted Solomon to know what will come in the future and how to use it and he never used it to twist things around. He walked straight for the best part of his life. This is what we are called the two. Now what are you asking for? Is it forgiveness? Is it cleansing? Is it peace? Stability in the faith? Guidance? Comfort, assurance. Are you praying for the salvation of someone dear to you? Are you praying for the restoration of a special friendship? Are you praying over a job situation? Are you praying for graces from God? Are you praying for an openness and inner relationship with the God? Honesty with the God? Freedom from sin and anxiety? And are you praying for the grace to see, to see God in people you are going to meet? There are many things you can ask for. This is the moment. Ask and it shall be given. And the gospel has shown us people who sought and found. There are two people who discovered something very treasured. The first one was just walking around and decided something precious in the field. He got overjoyed, overjoyed about it. They tell us he hid it again and made sure he went to sell everything he had in order to possess that garden. The second one, this one purposefully went looking for parts of great value and he discovered them. The first one is led there by grace and happens by good luck to find something treasurable. We can now imagine those who were baptized as kids. They were chanced to be brought in the presence of God and baptized in the faith of their parents. So for them, faith is a given. It's a given. And that's how gracious God is. 
He loves us from our very beginnings. The second man is the one who went around searching. Those who receive a baptism as adults. It was through diligent search that he discovered this precious uh, pearl that he wanted to get hold of. Both ways, Christ is telling us whether the kingdom of God is given as a given or received through diligent search, it is very precious. Never lose time of getting possession of it. Some chances come only once in a life. And these treasures require of you to sell everything. And for the sake of the kingdom of God, you have to sell everything. And this selling is taking leave of everything that has no connection with the kingdom of God. Sell it off. Separate from it. Be ready to incur a cost because of the valuable valuables you have cited in the kingdom of God. Renounce and give it up. You know what you need to renounce. That which is not compatible with the gospel. There might be struggle of renunciation, but we are given the courage that this can happen smoothly because according to the second reading, St. Paul has told us, God in his love has ways and power to put right what is going wrong and to make all things work for our good. Therefore, if personal weaknesses are making it difficult for me to say yes to the gospel, if other obstacles are standing in my way, be it neglect, despising of advice, it could be sluggishness in moving with Christ, it could be feeding on idols like wealth and material things, it could be privatizing my faith, it could be dishonesty, it could be impatience with others, all these I have to sell off in order to create room for God and the values of the kingdom of God in order to be fully a child of God and walk in his light. If there are any difficulties, God is telling us, ask, because I have the power to make all, good th to make all things work for your good and his salvation will be made manifest. We pray that God uh, takes us there, and as I walk with you, his graces may be fully abound in you and help you to walk with him faithfully and with full resolve. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Elect of the church, please come forward with your sponsor. Father Francis, it is my honor to present to you James Quesenberry for baptism. Jim, please join me in procession to the front where I shall meet the waters of your rivers. Lord, have mercy.
dearly beloved, with one heart and one soul, to let us by our prayers come to the aid of Jim, our elect, in his blessed hope, so that as he approaches the fount of rivers, the Almighty Father may bestow on him for his merciful help. O oh God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water for creation, for your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O oh God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take on to itself the power to sanctify. O oh God, who by the outpouring of the, of the flood for a shadow regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and the beginning of virtue. O oh God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shirt through the Red Sea, so the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the, of the baptized. O oh God, whose son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, go forth and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the, fan, the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the, the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the, the square of, of the old life may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn, the newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through, through your Son into the fullness of this fund, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns with, reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Jim, do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? I do. By your profession of faith, you have testified before the gathering community that you are going to walk one with Christ and with the faith community. And now, Jim, I shall baptize you as your wish indicates. Jim, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ, 
our Lord. Amen.
all powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you have freed your sons and daughters from sin and given them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask for all this through Christ our Lord. Summer, be saved with the Holy Spirit in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Peace be with you. servants 
Answer them according to your holy will. For we present them to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 In the Catholic family, you are most welcome. And we wish you all a fruitful stay in the faith of believers, the community of believers. God be with you.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered within the end of his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that nourished with the sacrament of your son's body and blood, we may grow in communion with his spirit, especially in the light of Jim, Janine, and Summer, and in, in love for one another, and so through ardent charity, reach the full stature of the body of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I thank you all once again for being part of this Sunday celebration and most especially the teachers, the RCIA team that has accompanied Janine, Summer, and Jim. This team is led by Harry Smith, and it has Marianne Boyle and Tom Boyle and Nikki Zuba. Thank you so very much. And may God abundantly reward you and he gives a blank check, you feel it. Okay. <laughs> and our choir, we are so thankful. Melanie prepared a very nice script for me. That's why I never moved too much. Thank you so much. <laughs> and the one in charge of the studios, Mary, thank you. And our usher, Robert, and Jose. Jose, muchas gracias. We pray for one another to journey with Christ wholeheartedly in his wisdom. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now as it's ended, let's go to walk in the wisdom and light of Christ. Thanks be to God.